Hey guys, this is Mr. Ninja Boy, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make your match lightning quick. So by being a Mac user myself, I know that Macs by default run very smoothly, very securely, and very fast. But um, with the time of use and downloading applications and uh, files, etc., your Mac is going to slow down just a little. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make it fast again, just with following some simple steps. Now, first of all, you're going to need to download a um, just a document. I have a link in the description below, Pages document. And uh, for the most part, we're just going to use Terminal. And Terminal is a built-in application in your Mac where you can actually use that to make your Mac faster. Make sure you've downloaded this document. And once you've got that, um, you have to have it open just to follow along with this. And this, we're just going to open up the terminal application. So go to Spotlight and just search, search up Terminal, and it should be there. So open up the application. And by the way, Terminal is built into your Mac, so you no know download is required. So once you got this Terminal window, as you can see here, if you're not ever, if you're not experienced with Terminal or haven't used it, basically what it is, you can execute commands almost like command prompt on Windows. If you're a previous Windows user, it's like command prompt. You can prompt commands. And I find it very useful for, your make, for making your Mac faster. And uh, yeah, so here, as you can see, are some commands that you can actually put into Terminal that will actually make your Mac faster. So some people don't use the dashboard. If you're one of those people that don't use the dashboard at all, all the widgets and stuff, you don't actually have to use it. You can actually kill your dashboard and not use it at all. And um, it actually saves up a lot of CPU usage and RAM because it, even if you're not using it, it runs in the background. So you can actually kill your dashboard using this code. So just copy that and paste it into there and press enter. Um, paste it into the um, actual... Uh, we're going to actually do that right now. So copy this and paste it here. And now we're going to press enter. And as you can see here, it all reset it, and the, uh, the we can't actually access the dock or the dashboard. Sorry. So yeah, that's a big way of actually making your Mac faster. The next step is to actually use a 2D dock. As you can see here on the bottom, I have a 2D dock. I personally like the 2D dock more, but um, you might miss the 3D dock that's built into the latest OS 10 software. But by using the 2D dock, it um, just by the slightly it just slightly boosts the performance a little, so um, but you might you might miss that 3D dock, but some people actually like it more. So I'm gonna just copy that and paste it into there. And once you press enter, it resets the 3D dock if you have the 3D dock. And as you can see, there we got the 2D dock. So yeah, the 2D dock makes it just ever so slightly faster. Now the third step is to remove window open animations. I find this one one of the most effective ones to actually make your Mac faster. Not only the Mac faster, but to actually open up applications faster. I find some applications open one to three seconds faster than the original um, open up times. Like I'll show you um, a browser I have here. Bam, it's open already. So it doesn't even it doesn't show like any animations when it opens. Um, like the scale animation or anything, it just opens up. So I close it, bam, it just opens up. So yeah, um, just copy this line of code and paste it into terminal. And yeah, press enter. And once you press enter, it should work. And uh, yeah, for the fourth one is to clear and rebuild your font cache, especially for people who install lots of fonts. Um, just copy that and paste it there. It makes it faster because Fonts actually take up a lot of cache space, and if you just use this line of code, it will clear up that cache space. And this is one of the most effective ones, and as you can see here in the finder, I have an option to quit the finder. And you, you can use this option only if, like, if you experience the spinning ball of death, you know, um, it's taking a long time to load up stuff. Copy this and paste it in there and press enter. And now I'll just show you how it works. So I'll go to Finder and quit Finder. As you can see, everything in the dock, everywhere, everything that's associated with Finder, shut off. So now we're going to reboot Finder. And that's just a quick way of getting rid of the ball of death. And um, yeah, speeding up your Mac. Just in case if it's a little sluggish, you can use this trick. Go in Finder and quit Finder, and then just reboot. So those were just the ways how to make your Mac faster using Terminal. Now I'll show you how to make your Mac faster by using Ice Clean. 
A free application is available in the link in the description below. Download that and yeah, I'll show you from there. So I'm on the official Ice Clean website. Uh, it's in the link in the description below. So go to visit the website and download one of these versions for your Mac. Once you've downloaded it, we're gonna open up the application. Open up Ice Clean. And yeah, so let's open up Ice Clean once you've installed it, everything. So we're gonna go to maintenance. No, sorry, cleanup, deep system cleanup, and remove all files. So uh, you're gonna have to enter your password, and I have no password there. Um, so you yeah, enter your password and press OK. And uh, as you can see on the bottom here, there's the spinning circle. Um, as long as it's doing that, don't quit the application. This is very important. If you quit the application, it can actually harm your hard drive and the computer itself. And if you go right click here, it says application is not spawned but it actually is so don't quit don't force quit it no matter what is uh, until this spinning thing ends so um yeah i'm gonna pause the video right here we, until it fully does all the maintenance and i find ice clean very effective because it really clears all the cache files um everything it, it just makes your mac faster trust me so use this file i actually haven't tried all the other all the other like maintenance and security network so um yeah you can try that yourself but for now we're just gonna do system cleanup so if you have followed all these steps your mac should be running faster and smoother right now so if you guys uh like this tutorial um leave a comment below and tell me if you want more mac tips and tricks and tutorials etc if you want me to continue i actually thought of making a series like a mac tips and tricks kind of series like one video a week so yeah, leave your suggestions and comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. See you guys next time.